In Power BI, the Q&A feature allows users to interactively query their data using natural language. Users can simply type questions in plain language, and Power BI generates visualizations based on the data model and context. The link to the dataset used in this video is given below. You can check out our previous videos on how to create data visuals in Power BI. From the Build Visual panel, click on the Q&A. Ask a question about your data. Try to use the exact column name while making your question. For example, if we write, total sales. It will create a card visual with the total sum of sales. If we write total profit, it will create a card with the total sum of profit. If we further modify it with total profit by category, it creates a bar chart showing the distribution of total profit by each category. Replace the category with subcategory. It modifies the bar chart, showing the distribution of total profit by each subcategory. Now, type pie chart, profit by segment. A pie chart is generated, showing profit by each segment. Rewrite the pie chart as donut chart. The previous chart just modified into a donut chart. Again, type line chart, sales by order date. A line chart is created with the trend of daily sales. If we add here, month, the chart modified into a monthly sales trend. Similarly, if we add year, the chart is modified into a yearly sales trend. Rewrite line chart as area chart. It will modify the visual into an area chart. Now, write, scatter chart, sales, and profit by order ID. The scatter chart is created to show the relation between the profit and sales. If we further add, legend category. Each order will be segmented by colors based on its category. You can also generate map visuals just by typing, map, sales by country. A map is generated. The bubble size represents the relative profit amount for its respective country. Right. Waterfall chart. Profit by order date, year. We can easily create a waterfall chart. It shows the amount of profit by year, tracking the changes over the period from 2011 to 2014. Again, write a matrix of sales by category by market. 
an entire matrix table is created, from which we can see how many sales have been made from each market disaggregated by categories. After finishing what you need, click on this button and turn the result into a standard visual. Using Q&A is a convenient way to explore data. We can create visuals just by typing on the command box, without needing to create any complex queries. Stay tuned for more techniques to elevate your Power BI skills. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching.